Hi everyone, Merry Christmas. This is Vlogmas number nine. There you go, nine. So let's pull out the advent calendar that I got from QVC. No, it's not number nine. Maybe we're on Vlogmas 10. Yeah, that, maybe that's what it is. Oh my God. I, the days are going by so fast, I forget. Well, where's 10, 15, 11, nine. There we go, I found 10. Let's see if we can penetrate this hole. Ah! Oh my God. All right, what do we got? Oh, it's better than sex, that's what we got. If I could pull it out, hold on, I'm, I'm gonna have to just get in here and dig. Oh God, I'm gonna have to get an ink pen or something. I accidentally opened up number 23. Hold on. I gotta get it out. No, it won't. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe this. It's better than sex and it's mascara and it's actually called that. And it's right there. I can't get it out. All right, that's Vlogmas 10. Oh my God. <sighs> So I gained weight from eating, drinking eggnog. So I am eating raw carrots and this is my snack. I got this from Costco. I, every time I wanna lose weight, I get this. It's got protein. It's an acquired taste, okay? Edamimi, edamimi, I don't know how to pronounce it. Edamimi, I'm not sure, but I'm hungry, okay? And so I had to buy Christmas stuff for my job and I like this. I can wear it low cut if I want. It's very comfortable. This is from Walmart and it's got gold, very faint gold running through it so it's not too obnoxious. And I can roll up the sleeves when I get hot and there's a button. It's very flattering on me. I look better with a collar. I don't know why that is, but this is my favorite drink. I hope I don't choke to death. But this video is about <clears throat> reinventing yourself. Okay, hold on a second. A lot of people are scared <clears throat> to start a new life. They were scared out of their mind. I know, because I was. I wanted a new life. And it took 13 years to get it. I'm amazed at how much I lost out by not having the, the gall or the balls to start a new life. And God started me on this path. I would have never done it without him. So... A lot of women who are in an abusive relationship or men are afraid to leave because of the trauma bonding. Uh, if you pray a lot about it and have that, yes, I can do attitude. Yeah, you can do it. Don't be afraid. Even if you have to live in your car. There was a couple nights where I thought I had to live in my car. Um, sometimes I felt like I was homeless and I would put it out there in the world that I thought I was going to be homeless when I left my spouse because he wasn't giving me any money after 40 years. I had to go uh, to court because I was destitute. I had nothing. I mean, I was selling assets as fast as I could. I mean, uh, there was many nights I thought I would have to sleep in the parking lot. No joke. But I tell you, there's no shame in that. There's no shame in that. You do whatever you have to do to get out of that situation. Uh, even if it means begging people. I remember I begged people to call me to help me and only two people out of thousands came to help me. That's the truth. And to this day, those two people are the only ones I give my time to. No joke. 
Everybody else can eat shit and bark at the moon, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Not until you lose everything. And I do mean everything. Your house, your vehicle, your lifestyle, excuse me, your lifestyle, that you realize who your friends are. Try it. Call up all your friends and family and ask them for money. So many people come forward. Uh-huh. That was the hardest lesson in my life. Because I had helped so many people get a start in their life. I mean, I'd pay their electric bill. I would help them get a house. I would help them in legal situations. Um, I would help them when their child was in the hospital. But how many was there for me? Uh -uh. So, yes, you can reinvent yourself. It's not going to be easy, but you can do it. And let me tell you what is worth every bit of it. It's worth every bit of hardship to know that you have accomplished something that you didn't think you could. As you see, I'm very hungry. <laughs> oh my God. So, I know a lot of ladies have been put in this situation. Some of them had no choice. Some of them don't have a choice. I remember even doing work for the domestic violence shelter for women. I remember doing work for them. I should have stayed with them. <laughs> yeah. When I didn't think I had a place to live. I slept on the floor. Now, this is no lie. I slept on the floor with a herniated disc and a slip disc and a bad hip for about four months. All I had was a neck pillow that I had. Uh, and I laid on the floor, slept on the floor for months. Nobody even gave a shit. Nobody checked on me. My own children and grandchildren in certain ways were alienated from me, from their parents or from my ex-spouse. I don't know what, but I had no one and I still did it. When you set your mind to doing something, you can do it. Yeah. So a lot of people don't know that I slept on the floor for a long time. Um, that's why you need to stay in the loop of your family to see if they're going through maybe some medical issues. Uh, no one, I don't think anybody ever sent me a get well card. And I'm the oldest of five generations. And I don't think anybody ever did. I mean, this is disgraceful. I don't know if y'all's family are like that, but God, and supposedly I have a lot of Christians in my family who are pastors, pastors' wives. I have many, many relatives, and a lot of them um, are in the church and are God-fearing people. Not one get well card. That's shameful. That's shameful. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so if you want to see who loves you, get into a situation where you need money or you need some emotional support and see who's there for you. Bye.